Welcome back to Signature Sense. My name is Ryan, and today I am very excited to announce we are kicking off the smell test series of my 11 samples from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. We're going to be looking at today the Atomic Bay Rum, which is perhaps the this perfumer, this gentleman who is behind this company, he's put, he said he's put five years and said 15 to 20 in research and development, five years and actually tinkering with this stuff. He has by far the longest description I've read about of all the scents he has, this one is like the gem. So a little bit uh, before we get in the smell test, which is gonna be a four-parter, which I'll explain in a moment. This stuff is using charred oak aged barrel rum. One of the cool things about Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements is they use all naturals to create these classic formulations. And part of these samples I have are, are homages to these different vintage style uh, colognes, which I'll talk about towards the end of the video, so stick around for that. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna do a four part test. Part number one, I'm gonna smell it out of the bottle. Part number two, I'm gonna put it on some paper. Part number three, I'm going to dump it into a, a sprayer here. I'm gonna spray it out and do an initial reaction. And then part four, I'm actually gonna spray the rest of it on. I'm gonna go out for a while and I'm gonna come back and experience the dry down, get an idea of its projection and, and all that stuff. And then come back and share my final thoughts with you before I cover what we have coming up. So, Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm very, very excited. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. So I'm gonna first start by opening this bag and getting the bottle open. And um, if you haven't checked out Phoenix, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way, I was just, I found them kind of randomly uh, when I was looking at aftershaves and somehow looking at classic formulations. And just like all the other great scents that I found, I just randomly ended up watching, I think it was a video or I found their website and basically what happened was I was looking for a natural uh, version of the Clubman Panade with because the synthetic note in there messes up with my sinuses. And that's how I kind of found this company. And then I ended up getting all these samples. And I'll talk more about that towards the end. But let's give this a shot. This is a glass sample. It's only $1 to get samples. Each sample is a dollar. I think shipping was about 6 bucks. So really, really good uh, value for what you're getting. I think the sample is about... It's like, it looks like it's two milliliters, exactly. Okay. Okay, first reaction. Number one is you can absolutely tell this is made with naturals. It's so crisp, it's so clean, it's so fresh. Ooh. Such a, a nice, I'm gonna use the word fresh again. It's very refreshing to the nose palette, if you will, to smell something that's made with naturals compared to smelling the synthetics. It's so pleasant. Okay, there's a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a menthol. So this is what they, they have two, they have actually all kinds of stuff. Another cool thing about these, if you like a smell, they have a humongous product line. You can get the deodorant, soaps, aftershave cologne, the parfum. I think they have a uh, lotion, like you can just immerse yourself in it. This is what they call their aftershave slash EDC. A lot of the reviews I've said is that these perform very, very well for what their formulation is. And uh, this, by the way, has a lot of great reviews on it as one of the best. Some people say it's their favorite Bay Rum smell ever. And I can see why. It's just sweet, a little bit of a spice on the aftertaste and also a little mentholated. You can smell that Bay note. So in short, out of the bottle, it's extremely crisp, extremely fresh smelling. You can absolutely tell that this is natural ingredients. Slightly sweet, slightly spicy, and mentholated. So now let's go ahead and move to the next stage of the test and put this on some paper and see how this scent starts to spread out a little bit and develop the scent profile. We put this down very carefully so I don't spill it. So I have a very nice uh, soak on there. I give this a second to start to spread out a little bit. Okay. So 
the scent has spread out and now more of the notes are starting to are, are popping up the profile is developing I will say that because it's natural and uh, I can go on and on talking about this guy and this company that just so many things impress me about they he somehow I think he distills some of his own essential oils so it's not he is a very, it's a very like in-house niche thing and by the way the cost for 100 mils of the aftershave EDC and there is an EDP is only $25 for 100 mil, $26 for 100 mil. The EDP I think is $40 for 60 mil, but these are all naturals. And so again, I think I was, if I was reading this correctly, he's using uh, personally diffused essential oils. Not He's not just getting everything from third parties. He's making all of his own stuff, which is really, really cool. Okay. So, there's a very, I want to say very, but a definitely a prominent bay note. If you've ever smelled, if you go into a, your uh, spice cabinet and you see those big bay leaves, you usually use them to uh, cook with soups or sauces like, like I used to make spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. Bay leaves are, are uh, pretty much of a staple. And you can definitely smell, it's, it's a very pleasant, it's not sharp. It's very, the best word that I can explain this is fresh. It's just a very fresh, almost invigorating uh, scent. So bay, bay wrapped in spice, and I, I it smells like clove to me. It's got a, a very strong, I say strong, a very um, noticeable clove note. It's like bay wrapped in clove. When I say wrapped in, I mean when you first smell it, the first thing that hits the nose and you start uh, getting a smell is that bay, and then the aftertaste is like this uh, clove smell. And then on top of that, the very end result of the smell is this slight mentholated. It's not, a, it's not necessarily a very light smell mentholated, but you can feel it in your nose. It's kind of like if you've ever smelled Vicks Vapor Rub. It's not quite that intense, but it's a, it's a little slight... Uh, it's almost like I have a, a, a little bit of a freeze action going on in my upper nostrils. Like it has that same kind of uh, feeling of Vicks Vapor Rub, but toned down a lot. And there's a little bit of a sweetness. So to summarize off the paper, for me, at least on the opening, it's a bay wrapped in a clovish type of smell with a little bit of a sweetness, which I, I take as this rum. And the the end is this little menthol so between the natural smell of this and that little slight mentholated uh aftertaste it's it, it's just again it's, it's a very fresh and invigorating i am very excited to give this a go now i'm getting a little bit of a nutmegish type of smell it's like a sweet a, a slightly sweet nutmegish clove i will say that i don't think this is going to be a powerhouse it's not like something that's going to be like a massive projection beast is my prediction but the way it's drying down it's very interesting is it's starting to dry down into this uh the the bay leaf is still there but the spices are starting to become more uh they're almost building a little bit more so you're getting a lot a lot more spice in the aftertaste before it was more bay and now the spices, like it was bay and spices, now the spices are starting to catch up with the ratio. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and do the third part. I'm going to take the glass uh, one, I'm going to dump it in this two mil tester here. And then I'm going to give it a spray. So I'm going to put some on my hand and then I'm going to put some on my neck as well. I want to test the, the projection and the waft, how much waft I get from this. So I'm going to do a decent coating here. Ooh. <laughs> wow. A lot of... S wow. It's not bad at all. It's just... When you spray it... Wow. So that's why I like... This is a perfect example. If you happen to get a test of this, you'll understand why I prefer to spray on scents versus dabbing them. The way that the scent develops, like it smelled like I was spraying on like spice potpourri almost. Like that's how intense it was uh, right when I went up my nose, like right there. I got a full like mist right up there. Okay. Okay. So the first thing is, 
that big note I was telling you about is much stronger. Which tells me that because the way my chemistry tends to work is my chemistry likes to project the richest part of the sense. So, very interest, very uh, apt, this is called the Atomic Age Bay Rum. Because to me, this is, I'm getting this bay as the strong heart of this smell. For sure, for sure, for sure. The bay rum, the bay is is the heart, and that's what my skin it, it it likes to do this where it projects the kind of the core, the deepest, darkest, richest part of it. It's bay, and it's wrapped in spices. That's the best way I can put it. It's it's the bay is very strong. It's almost like it really does smell like bay essential oil, but a very a very clean and crisp. It smells fresh. It's almost like put it to you a different way. It smells like if someone took bay leaf and just squeezed it into that bottle. That's how fresh this stuff smells. It's, it's actually uh, very, very impressive. And if this stuff performs even remotely close to the reviews I've seen, I, I am I'm so impressed. I just, when you get your nose on these natural stuff, it, it just is, I cannot say how, how nice and refreshing it is to smell sense in their natural form that haven't been artificialized if that's even a word probably isn't or made to be synthetic it's just so nice it makes you really appreciate the natural smells um the way it feels like it's impacting my brain because you know the aromatherapy and the uh you know there's a, there's a science of how it, different smells impact your brain it just smells it makes it feels invigorating but the, the, the spice part of it is also feels a little bit grounding as well. So the main spices I'm getting is it's clove, really is the main one. So to me, this is like a fresh bay leaf wrapped in clove. The menthol is not as prominent as it was off the paper or the bottle. I'm assuming because the menthol is probably the first to kind of evaporate or it's because most likely my skin absorbs like the fresh freshies it absorbs any anything that's very light a light opening scent i will have completely disappear on my skin often or it'll last like a few seconds they just don't make it very long so yeah uh, i'm gonna wrap it up here so summarizing on the skin we have a nice fresh crisp bay leaf essential oil wrapped in a very prominent clove with a very slight menthol aftertaste you can feel in your nostrils and that's about the gist there's also maybe a little bit of a cinnamon little a teeny tinge cinnamony sweetness that paints the clove so it's not a pure clove so it's not like off-putting or very intense it's a clove that's painted with a little bit more subdued maybe cinnamon nutmeg and a tinge of sweetness so it's very very pleasant so next step i'm now going to leave I'm going to go and spend some time outside. I'm going to go put myself in public, see if I get any compliments, and just see how, if I'm getting wafts and how this performs in the air. So I'll check back in a few. Okay, I'm back for my uh, observations on the dry down, and then I'm going to give my final thoughts on the scent. So I, I've been letting it sit for a little bit over an hour, and why I'm starting the video now is it's starting to kind of trail off and I'm getting an idea basically the idea of the dry down and what that's like and so basically what I'm finding out is there's a difference in the dry down not a huge surprise on my skin and on the paper now first let me talk a little bit about the projection it projects very very well for the first I would say 45 minutes I'm getting a, a really nice prominent scent bubble around me and then at about the hour mark, give or take, it starts to trail off and it sits a little bit closer. And, you know, I think this is one of the effects of having a very natural dominated scent, which it is, which is, you know, why it makes for very good uh, aftershave. Although, of course, there is an EDP. So it's just it's performing like an EDC. Uh, about an hour, give or take, and then, but then again, I will have to say, in its defense as well, I've said this before, my skin eats lighter scents. So I can see why some people are saying that this does very, that lasts very long for them. 
uh, it's still lasting long for me. It's not that it's not there. I'm getting it. So it, it starts off maybe like, a, I don't know, maybe an arms or so scent bubble. And now I think it's sitting like a little bit closer like this. So it doesn't have a huge sillage, but I am getting slight wafts of it as I sit here. Um, and uh, it smells very, very nice. So off of my skin, I'm getting mostly in the waft is the kind of clovey uh, spice. That's the what's in the air for me. Now, when I put my nose into it, I get a, the, it's kind of a combination. The supporting actors here for me is a combination between that bay leaf, which the bay leaf is much more prominent. I think in the beginning it kind of gives way. And then there's the rum, a very nice, uh, very, I don't want to say very close to a photorealistic rum, but it's toned down. So it's not like this is a rum scent, but it definitely plays a nice supporting role where it blends in with this, the cloviness to give it a little bit of a sweetness and adds a little bit of a texture to it. And the bay, the bay note kind of gives it, um, I don't want to say, like uh, a little bit of a, a fresh, a little bit zingy, uh, if you ever smelled bay, it's 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 literally like a photorealistic bay scent, but it's again it's not a, a shouting bay scent. It's toned down. It's blended very nicely, so it almost smells like to me like a potpourri scent because of the way that clove is prominent on my skin. Now let's talk about the paper, because the paper is a whole different story. Okay, on the paper for me, I'm getting more of the the rum is a little bit more prominent the sweet uh rum that aged rum scent and a little bit of the bay and the the spices are toned a lot more down let me reset my nose a little bit because as i mentioned i project the the richest part of the scent which is that that spice and it's actually knocking out I, when i go from here to this I can't barely even smell this. Before I started the camera on that, I was kind of get my collecting my thoughts and I was able to smell it. There it goes. I reset my nose. Yeah, so it's mostly, it's uh, I wouldn't say mostly, I would say the spices are toned way down and the rum is, is turned up. So on my skin, you have like the spices up here and then you have this, this gentle uh, rum and a bay leaf kind of is mixing itself in so while you're getting a very prominent spice, the aftertaste, you, you, it adds a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of zinginess of the bay. Off the paper though, it's more, it's more sugary sweet of that, uh, of that rum. So yeah, th this is uh, a very nice scent. It's, this reminds me of like a very beautiful seasonal scent. This would be a perfect like Christmassy time, wintry time uh, scent. You can also wear this in the fall, I think. I think not so much in the spring, summertime, it wouldn't make sense. Although if you like this, I can definitely see it. Um, now, if you like the Bay Rum smell, I think you're really gonna love this. I'm. This is my first real experience and, and memory of Bay Rum. I really got this because when I was doing my research and finding the samples I wanna order, this one jumped out the page because this guy raved about it. Like this was like this, this perfumer's like master scent of all, like his real, it seemed like he put it most energy in this. So I just wanted to smell and see what it's about. So I think in general, it's very, very good. Very, very nice seasonal scent, very spicy, little sweet, little bay leaf. I think it's excellent. I'm most impressed with it of the natural and the way how crisp it is. It's very, very nice. And the performance, I, I'm, I'm thinking that this, I, I would give this probably another couple hours, give or take before it kind of fades off. But it's still got a very nice close scent bubble. It's very, very pleasant, so I like it. I think this stuff would do very, very well on clothes. I didn't spray it on my clothes, but something tells me if you spray it on clothes, you're gonna get a lot of that spiciness and probably a little bit of sugar as well too that's gonna be more prominent and stick around. I'll put it like, you know, probably in these two spots here. I have some follow-up thoughts. This is many hours later after I did the original review, and I had to get on camera to share this because I felt like I did a disservice to my initial reaction video particularly about the projection and longevity. So you can see it's darker and uh, I'm just wanting to get this on camera. So my, the gist of it is this stuff is performing much, much more than I originally had led on to believe. What I found out had happened was I had, my nose started getting shot off to it. And as I'm going about my day and my nose starts balancing itself out for however it's doing that, I'm now still getting these wafts of this stuff and 
why I did why I think it happened is because I made the mistake that I I should have known better is instead of I usually spray my scents on the ear and sort of under this area and then I'll put it on the chest under clothes but I don't do it here anymore because it just knocks my nose out and I made the mistake with this stuff is off camera when I did my original spray I wanted to put on a little bit more when I was going to do that first part four test and I end up putting some spray here and here and I think it actually knocked out my nose but I have to say this stuff it's close to two and a half closing in on three hours after the original spray and this stuff is still churning I'm still getting a lot of wafts to put this into perspective I did a video the other day on an EDP that is a Eau de Parfum uh, that was by Tara De uh, that was Tara Dubois by Miller Harris I believe that's a it was an EDP concentration and that stuff I did not spray on here I put it on the back and that stuff didn't last barely at all on my skin this is supposed to be an aftershave cologne and now I can understand these comments people saying how this stuff performs it's very very nice now I want to say one more final thing about it is these EDC aftershave EDC concentrations are about twenty twenty five twenty six dollars that's before shipping. I think shipping's maybe five, six bucks. So you're looking at around thirty, thirty-one dollars for a bottle of a hundred mil of this stuff, versus their EDPs, which I believe are around forty dollars for sixty mil. So the the efficiency here would be you can easily buy an EDC aftershave of this and just reapply it every few hours, give or take, depending on how your skin is. Now my skin also, as I mentioned, eats. The scents up my skin goes through scents faster it'll you know neutralize them for every reason the, the skin the oils or the pheromones or whatever it is my skin typically neutralizes scents faster than normal people so that it's performing like this on my skin is truly remarkable so i wanted to get this in there because i've been i'm very impressed with this stuff i think this is the first of the 11 samples and i honestly cannot wait to try the other ones and see if they all have this same kind of staying power so that's it. This stuff projects, and uh, the I would say the scent bubble is it's not a huge sillage trail you're going to be leaving behind. Don't get me wrong, but it's more than a skin scent. So it's somewhere between that beast mode sillage and a, just a skin scent you have to, you know, put your hand into. It's you got to have a nice a nice little scent bubble. Somebody will definitely if they lean in, they will smell it. If you if you walk like right next to somebody, they're probably going to get a little whiff as well. So that's all I wanted to include this. Okay, so that's my review. Now, before I end this video, let me give you a, a quick rundown of the scents we have coming out that are rest to sample. I'm very excited about because these, while well, this was more of like an experiment because I wanted to see what the Bay Rum smell like and particularly from this company, these ones I have more of a connection to or more in my genre, okay? So we have their, some of the homages they have and their versions of these are all based on the vintage formulations of what I'm about to say. Prorasso Green Splash, Wood Hue by Fabergé, Polo Sport. We have the Schulten Old Spice. We have the, the uh, vintage Old Spice Fresh Scent. We also have the Pinot Clubman. And we have a couple barbershop scents. We have a 60s barbershop scent, not based on anything particularly. We have a, their, their version of the Shaving Cream barbershop scent and a 60s barbershop scent. And we also have a their green fougé uh, floral woody piney mossy scent and again why part of the reasons i'm excited about this is not just because of the formulation but i'm, I'm really get interested and keen on getting my nose on the natural version of what those smell like so look out for those coming up i also have O fresh by bogart is right around the corner that's coming up and um i have the vintage Schulten old spice original four ounce full cologne coming in the mail soon. I'm going to be doing reaction videos to all those, so stay tuned. Make sure to hit subscribe, and as always, make sure to waft kindness to others. God bless.